Hey everybody, welcome back to the Race Fi Smokehouse and Grill. And today we are making these amazing, beautiful, tasty Sonoran hot dogs on the Weber kettle. Let's go. On a trip I went to earlier this year to Phoenix, Arizona, I came across a menu item that I hadn't heard before out here in Chicago, and that was called the Sonoran Dog. The Sonoran Dog is a bacon-wrapped hot dog that comes with a lot of traditional Mexican toppings on there, such as beans, cheese, salsa, uh, pico, guacamole, crema, whatever normally goes on traditional Mexican food, you put it on this hot dog and it's called a Sonoran dog. Now I may or may not have that 100% right, but this is the way that we are gonna put it together today. We are gonna cook this all in the Weber kettle. So first thing we're going to do is get that Weber kettle fired up. We are using Jealous Devil and we're putting a base layer of unlit coals uh, into the slow and sear. And then we are going to light a small chimney. And once that is lit nice, we're gonna spread that along the unlit coals. And then we're going to close it up and let that grill come up to temperature. Now we're not really monitoring temperature. We're just gonna go low and indirect on this. So it could take a little while. I'm not quite sure. I'm guessing maybe a half an hour. We just really want that bacon to be cooked all the way through. Now that the Weber's fired up, we're gonna start preparing these hot dogs and the ingredients for this hot dog. One of the main ingredients that I see on a lot of these hot, Sonoran hot dogs are beans. So I'm gonna go ahead, I picked up just some small red beans, Goya brand. Red beans are my favorite, so I'm gonna use these today. We're gonna throw them in a pot, get those on the Weber kettle right away, let these start cooking up and warming through. Let's put these on the grill real quick. Beans are on the grill. We're gonna let that warm up as we're preparing this. Those beans will be able to cook for quite a while without any harm to them. So get those started first, making sure those are cooked through. Next up, we're gonna wrap these hot dogs with the bacon. So let's open these up. Now each one of these hot dogs is going to take a full slice of bacon. And in order to keep that bacon on here, we're gonna cheat and actually use toothpicks. I've seen people do them on the flat top without any toothpicks, but we're gonna cheat, like I said, and use toothpicks because we really want that bacon to stay on and stay wrapped. And we're using a regular cut bacon. We're not using the thin cut because like I said, we do want this to cook all the way through. And that's it, that's all we're gonna do. Then I have my toothpicks over here to the side. And we're just gonna jab these through here in a couple places where we know it'll stick. Which is including these end pieces here. And that's it, we're gonna wrap all these up and then get them on the grill. And just like that, we have all our dogs wrapped in bacon and ready to get put on the grill. This grill's nice and hot, so let's go over to the grill and get these on. Grill is up to temp and ready to go. We have the beans on, now it's time to put the dogs on the grill as well. First thing we're gonna do though, is hit the grate with a little bit of vegetable oil. We're gonna do this to try to keep that bacon from sticking to the grate as it cooks. So let's go get this oil on the grate and get these dogs on. Give these beans a quick stir. Mm -hmm. 
These dogs are done and off the grill. They are looking great. That bacon cooked up perfectly on a couple of them that were really thinly sliced. They did kind of disintegrate away, but that's okay. We still have a couple awesome dogs to eat. Now we build. So I got myself some good buns from the bakery. These are regular hot dog buns. You almost want a denser, thicker roll for this, but not too big. And you want it unsliced because you want to slice it down this top and then set it in the center here. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to give this just enough of a slice and we're going to end up setting everything right inside there. And this is where you get to have fun. This is where you get to put whatever toppings you like on there, whatever you want. So first thing I'm gonna do, I have a guacamole spread on here. I'm gonna hit that right down the middle of this bad boy. A Little bit of that creaminess. Right on top of that, we're gonna go with the hot dog. It's looking great already, perfect bun for that. Let's see what we're gonna do next. We're gonna hit it with a little salsa. Spread that right along there. Then some queso fresco, some nice crumbled Mexican cheese. On top of that, I'm gonna put a couple jalapenos. A couple two tree jalapenos. Oh, I forgot the beans, hold on. Make all these beans and forget about them. Yeah, get these beans on there. Then the jalapenos. And then a little bit of the uh, Mexican sour cream, Mexican crema. Then you just hit this across here, make it look fancy. And delicious. There you have it. That's the Sonoran hot dog. Built perfectly. Now it's time to get into it. Get it nice and ugly now, and there's no way to eat this without becoming messy. That is super delicious. Of course you get the hot dog and the bacon, but I really like the flavor from the Weber around here. Plus with all of these toppings, it just goes perfect together. I, I think this is gonna be a mainstay over the summer. We're gonna try a bunch of different recipes, bunch of different toppings, see which ones we like the best. For now, this is how I'm going, and I'm gonna destroy this as soon as I shut this camera off. If you like what we did here, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, follow me on social media, and we will talk to you all soon. Take care, everybody. Peace. Thank you.